So anyway, this stuff wasn't working and uh, we said, okay, your neurologist says you're on the interferon and I know absolutely nothing about MS. Um, I'm a GP by training and I just happen to have a brother-in-law who's on it and he's doing well with this naltrexone and I'm afraid telling you maybe uh, you should stop your, your naltrexone or stop your uh, interferon with a view to starting naltrexone. But if I was you, I'd do it. And it's got to be your call because this is purely experimental and I'm going out on a limb and you can sue my butt uh, if something goes wrong with this. And I tell patients that and, uh, and they normally say they won't sue me, so I'm not using it for long enough to find out if that's true. And um, it is a risk. It is a bit of a risk. And I think that if you engage with somebody and I usually spend about 40 minutes with the patients and um, I, we really talk it through and I kind of walk with them through it and I kind of really try to get a good handle on what's going on with it and I try and say you know this is your decision it's not me putting it on you and you've informed yourself etc cetera, etc cetera. and by reading the book and being informed she made the decision herself uh, because it's very dangerous for me to say I'm giving you advice different than your neurologist that's her decision to make and if she wants to make that decision well I'd be happy to oblige and give the naltrexone but a month later she calls me and says uh, your classic miracle drug, I'm walking without my crutches. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's been thought for a number of years that endometriosis may be associated with some type of alteration in cell-mediated immunity. In fact, endometriosis fulfills all of the classic characteristics of an autoimmune disease. Polyclonal B-cell activation, tissue damage, multi-organ involvement, female preponderance, familial occurrence. There's a much higher incidence of autoimmune diseases with those with endometriosis. I've seen that so much in practice. Increased concurrence with other autoimmune diseases. In women with endometriosis, there's a defect in natural killer cell activity. The natural killer cell activity of the peritoneal fluid uh, mononuclear cells is decreased in endometriosis. So this is hugely significant and um, the substantial evidence indicates that endometriosis shares many similarities with autoimmune diseases. Uh, so the idea is naltrexone. It's got to stop this in its tracks. I'm even going further to think how much will it remove the endometriosis that's already established there? Because so far we've got to go surgical if we want to remove it. And I don't know, these are the references that back that up. It's also been identified that there are high concentrations of anti-ovarian antibodies associated with polycystic ovaries. This suggests that an autoimmune reaction is also associated with polycystic ovaries and that naltrexone may well solve that.